Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start uh, Accounting Hub Cloud. Uh, this is basically a tool which is uh, uh, using to uh, for the custom accounting processes with the uh, third party so uh, custom sources. We can integrate our Oracle Cloud with the custom sources or third party uh, applications to integrate our accounting and we can customize the accounting uh, and uh, according to our need or business needs, we can uh, transfer all the accounting processes uh, on the basis of events, different accounting events, we can define uh, the accounting rule and then we can uh, move into the Oracle Cloud application. So let's start with, so what can we do now? Uh, uh, basically uh, earlier it was uh, just eventually when we started this uh, uh, counting hub, it, it was in uh, release 12 also. Uh, that is the fusion, uh, not the fusion, the financial accounting hub. It was called at that point of time. Now in these days, as we have already been moved to moving to the cloud application of Oracle Financial. So uh, it's this pronunciation the, uh, like Fusion Accounting Hub. So is it basically the cloud application that unifies the data from the different uh, financial systems, giving customer financial team uh, complete view of financial data to increase forecasting, accuracy, shorten report, reporting cycles and the simplify the decision making. This is a basic idea for this tool, right? So this is also, uh, we can say exposes the sub ledger tool, accounting tool or rule engine to the external systems. That means uh, the gateway of the uh, accounting, uh, sub ledger accounting uh, for the external systems. We just open the, uh, expose that uh, Oracle Cloud application system, like for the GL, if you want to uh, directly, uh, uh, we can create one uh, custom sub ledger accounting application and then so that, that we can say the source application and integrated with the Oracle Cloud application. And we can uh, modify the accounting uh, by just customizing the accounting rule for on the basis of uh, source system uh, event classes. We can uh, uh, push the data from the source system to the Oracle Cloud application and we can generate the accounting as per our own need and uh, push and the trans or you can say interface into the GL. And uh, uh, it provides the uh, complete set of accounting tool and uh, unparalleled access to financial data, right? So this is a very great tool. Let's uh, move further. Uh, the Oracle accounting, uh, the components, all these components, the following like uh, Oracle Fusion Subledger Accounting to perform accounting. This is a basically tool. Uh, for to perform the all the accounting transformation on external system data, right? Exactly that what we need to do. We need to take the data from the external system and then we need to transform according to the Oracle Cloud application format. It's purely just uh, integrated with the Oracle uh, Fusion General Ledger or Oracle Cloud GL and uh, this is also we included in uh, Oracle included or introduced the Fusion Financial Reporting Center also for uh, uh, for the particular whenever we are moving the data from source system to Oracle Cloud application. In that case, we can uh, uh, re generate the basic reports or we can uh, uh, prepare some custom report as well by using this uh, Oracle Fusion Financial Reporting Center as well. Integration with the Oracle Hyperion also data management, right? This is a very good tool here. Well, this is also part of, uh, you can also just integrate with the Fusion Edition for the chart of account and hierarchy maintenance as well. So the scope is very good now. And this is a purely uh, showing the integration with the external system, uh, the flow and all. And uh, according to this uh, image, we can understand this, uh, uh, the Oracle uh, Fusion or Oracle Cloud uh, Accounting Hub, what we can do, 
we can integrate with the uh, third party tool which is using the oracle jd edward or the dl laser other dl lasers and non oracle external applications oracle fusion sub lasers also like uh, nothing is like ap ar or other sub lasers we can integrate with that uh, this oracle uh, cloud applications and accounting repository and accounting engine basically where we just customize all the uh, accounting rules so people soft gl or oracle ebs also we can integrate with or oracle hyperion data relationship management fusion addition also or cloud application addition also we can integrate with that so what it uh, it will do but uh, whenever just we uh, identify the data and then we interface into the Oracle Cloud application and uh, import into the GL. And then we can generate the reports, right? So the steps that we need to follow, which is the, uh, uh, first of all, we need to uh, accounting transformation refer to this uh, process of converting transactions or activity refer to the accounting events from source systems into the journal entries. So what, first of all, we need to identify the uh, events, accounting events already been, uh, those are captured. Uh, sometime we, we need to just identify the uh, the accounting events from the full source system by sitting with the key users of the business. And then we can identify the accounting event on that basis, uh, we can uh, create the journal entries, right? And then the source system may also be diverse application Maybe the diverse application that have been purchased from uh, from the non Oracle software providers or created internally. Often, source system are industry specific solutions. Basically, uh, we can uh, the client may have some different non Oracle or custom applications. So those uh, source system we can uh, we have to just understand and then uh, we can uh, identify the base requirement that need to be integrated with the Oracle Cloud application. And example for the source system, we can say uh, the core uh, businesses like uh, banking applications, insurance policy administration systems, and telecommunication billing systems, and point of sale systems. These are uh, all are the basic uh, business ideas for those we need this uh, uh, Oracle Cloud application integration. And uh, basically, the the steps that we need to follow for this uh, integration for with uh, with the source system of Oracle Cloud application. First of all, we need what we need to do. We need to uh, start uh, with the analysis analysis of the uh, your current system uh, of the client, and then uh, determine which source system have transactions or activity that need to be accounted and reported via the Oracle Fusion Accounting Hub or Oracle Cloud Application Hub right and then we need what we need to do next step third the, the third step that we need to register the source system transactions and activity which have financial impact in the accounting hub to make them eligible for accounting we need to register right say for example uh, if we got the data from uh, the the transaction data for from the banking system banking organization and then uh, first of all, we need to register that application, sub laser application into the Oracle Cloud application, right? That is that uh, need to be uh, eligible for the accounting in the accounting hub, okay? And then we can uh, uh, just uh, perform the fourth activity, which is the create accounting rules that indicate how each of the accounting event is accounted, right? So on the on the basis of source uh, data provided. By the from the source system, what we need to do, we need to identify the events that need to be accounted. And then at the uh, fifth point of the these steps, group these rule rules together and assign them to the ledger to create a complete definition of the accounting treatment for the transactions and activity for, from the source system. At the end, what we need to do, we need to uh, club up all the rules right and then uh, together and then we need to assign it to the respective ledger for which uh, you want to uh, generate the accounting right these all are the steps mandatory step you need to perform and then we can uh, integrate with the oracle cloud application 
and uh, the diagrammatically we can understand first of all what we need to do the first step for, uh, for the accounting hub which is uh, analyze what we need to analyze analyze the events then analyze the source data requirements analyze accounting requirement for the events so first of all what we need to do we need to uh, identify the what are the events basically uh, we can understand this way in uh, in accounts payable sub ledger uh, that is the part of our account cloud applications so in that we have n number of uh, uh, events like uh, uh, raising an invoice, making a payment, and then creating creating an uh, accounting for that. So raising an invoice and making a payment, these these two uh, we can take the uh, as an events, right? And uh, analyze the source data requirement, and then uh, similarly we need to identify the events first, then the source data. What type of the uh, the shape of the source data that we have? the client is providing to us and analyzing the accounting requirement on the basis of the event that we have identified in the source system. Next, we after the analyzing of the application source data application, uh, source data from we, source application data, we, what we need to do, we need to build the data. So the build part is uh, the uh, registering the source system in the Oracle Cloud application, define the event information, code calls to event capture uh, routines like we can uh, define some uh, user defined rules or condition in the system right for the accounting that 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 would be the part of uh, uh, accounting rules and then uh, so to capture the event uh, routines right define the uh, the next step is define the transaction objects to store source data right so even classes, then uh, the even types within that, all those stuffs we need to define from the on the basis of source data. Write some programs to populate the transaction objects. These all the stuff we need to perform at the time of building the uh, the source system in the Oracle Cloud application. And then uh, integration. What exactly is integration? Integrate the system uh, source system programs with the create accounting program, right? And at the end, implement and test. We need to define the accounting method and then assign that method to the respective ledger. Either it can be primary ledger or secondary, and then perform the testing of the credit accounting. The results we can uh, test after that, right? So this is all about uh, the introduction of the accounting hub. Hope you will just like this video. Please like and share my video and uh, see you on the next video thanks for watching take care bye